It's a new year and a brand new Netflix slate. Welcome to 2024, everyone. I'm Matthew with Cinegold, and today we're going to be taking a look at all the best new releases on Netflix in January 2024. It's a relatively slow month, but there are a few gems worth mentioning. But first, let's start things off by taking a look at a few regional releases. First off, in select regions, including the U.S., is the release of the John Wick collection. This includes the first three John Wick movies. A lot of these movies have have been on Netflix for a while now, but not in certain regions, so it's good to see they're finally spreading it around a little bit. And also, 2023 action thriller The Equalizer 3. This is the action franchise that stars Denzel Washington as Robert McCall, an assassin who now lives in southern Italy and has to help out his friends who are being threatened by the mafia. All these movies release on January 1st. And that's the last region locked release we're going to cover. Now, let's check out all the new. Netflix originals that will be available in every region. First up is Fool Me Once. It follows ex-soldier Maya, who sees her murdered husband on a secret nanny cam, causing her to uncover a deadly conspiracy that stretches deep into the past. You can check out this series on January 1st. I'm not your prisoner. I'm here to negotiate. Next up is The Brother's Son. This is the first season of the brand new action crime series starring Michelle Yeoh. It centers on an average man living in California whose life is turned upside down when he discovers his family were renowned gangsters in Taiwan before escaping to safety in the US. The Brother's Son is co-created by Brad Falchuk, who is also co-creator of the series American Horror Story. You can check it out on January 4th and releasing on the same day is Society of the Snow. This is a survival film about the 1972 Andes flight disaster in which a Uruguayan rugby team's plane crashed into the Andes mountains and left them stranded. This is, of course, a true story that was previously adapted into the 1993 film Alive. This latest adaptation aims to be more accurate than the 90s film and is already returning excellent early reviews, so this looks to me like the best movie to start your new year with. And next up is Good Grief. I would like to take us to Paris for the weekend. We all deserve some joy. Yes, thank you. Where are we staying? This is a comedy drama about a man whose mother and husband dies, so he decides to have a getaway to Paris with his friends. It stars Shit Creek actor Dan Levy, and it is also his directorial debut. You can check it out on January 5th. If you find yourself searching endlessly for good movies to watch on Netflix, why not let me do the work for you? I scour the depths of Netflix every week to find the best of the best in every genre. So so make sure to hit the subscribe button now and enjoy the best that Netflix has to offer. Then on January 11th is Boy Swallows Universe. I'm Ayla Bell. I got a story. What kind of story? It's a crime story. This is an Australian coming of age series that takes place in the 1980s about Eli Bell, a working class youth who enters Brisbane's underworld to save his mother from danger. It is based on the semi-autobiographical novel of the same name by Trent Dalton. Then on January 12th is heist comedy Lift. We gotta steal it mid-flight, 40,000 feet in the air. We are taking the plane, the whole plane? It's kind of hard to take half the plane. It stars Kevin Hart as Cyrus Whitaker, a thief who leads an international heist crew to steal $500 million worth of gold from a plane 40,000 feet in the air. This movie was supposed to be released way back in August 2023, but is finally seeing the light of day here in early 2024. On January 19th is the British sci-fi drama film The Kitchen. It takes place in a dystopian future London where all social housing has been eliminated. Izzy and Benji fight to navigate the world as residents of the kitchen, a community that refuses to abandon their home. The trailer to this looks pretty good and this could be a hidden gem in January. Also releasing on the 19th is 60 Minutes. This is a German martial arts drama about MMA fighter Octavio who has one hour to make it to his daughter's birthday party or he'll lose custody forever. To reach her in time, he turns down an important fight which puts him in a 
dangerous position with some even more dangerous people. Suddenly, Octavio isn't only trapped in a ruthless race against time, but also a chase through the entire city of Berlin that pushes him to his limits. It's time for a revolution! After that is Masters of the Universe Revolution, which is a spin-off of the animated series Revelation and releases on January 25th. For the last three years, Corselda Blanco has owned Miami. And last but not least is Griselda, a limited series starring Sofia Vergara as Griselda Blanco, a Colombian drug lord who trafficked cocaine into Miami during the 1970s and 80s. Griselda was a real life drug lord known as the Godmother, and this six episode series is coming to us from the same team that brought us Narcos. This looks like it could be the first great series of 2024. We can check it out on January 25th. If you made it all the way through the video, I'd greatly appreciate appreciate if you could hit the like button. Let's make 2024 a great year, everybody. I will see you all soon.